These are some of the best Android apps you can get on your phone right now. Let's get into it. The first app is called Groovify, and if you use Spotify to stream your music and you're kind of tired of the playlists they keep giving you, this app lets you generate a new playlist of your favorite songs that fit the vibe that you're going for. It could be a fusion of rap, R&B, rock, and any other genre of your choice. This app does it all. Now you select a song that you want as the base of your playlist, and it instantly generates a new playlist for you. Now if the playlist isn't exactly what you're looking for, maybe one or two songs aren't exactly your taste, you can then refine it further by adjusting if you want the song to be more of an acoustic sound or electronic, maybe you want it to be happy or sad or even danceable or even more chill. If you're happy with that playlist, you can rename it to whatever you want it to be and you press save and it then gets added to your Spotify account and you can listen to it anytime at any place. Definitely one of my favorite apps that you should check out. As we continue with the music train, this app is called Volumey. With this app, you can skip or go back to a previous song by pressing and holding down the volume keys. It might sound goofy the first time you hear this because you can literally just take out your phone, swipe down and start skipping every song that you want. But that is already two or three gestures when you can just do one thing. This saves you more time than you can imagine. Definitely an app I use regularly. It's simple yet effective, and I think you guys should try it out. The next app of the day is called Watts. So if you're using a third party charger, and you're not really sure if it's providing your phone with the right amount of juice for it to charge faster or even be more stable, you can use this app to get a battery power indicator within your status bar. This helps give an indication of how fast or how slow your phone is charging and how fast it drains when it is unplugged. Now, if you go into the settings of the app itself, it has different units to change from if you want to measure something that is totally different. I should also point it out that it may not be compatible with every Android phone in the world. Either way, it wouldn't hurt to give it a try. So one app I didn't think I would need or use regularly is called Wear Socials, and this is a QR code wallet. So whenever you scan any QR code, it saves it within the app so you can use it later. So that goes for your coupons, flights, concert tickets, and many more. And it's not just coupons or flights, you can also save and scan anything. For example, you can create your own contact QR code. So if you don't have a business card and you're at a conference, but you still want to share your information with potential clients, you can easily just create one within the app and share with other people. Personally, I feel this is an easier way and quite frankly, a cheaper way to do things. If you also want to install or save a WhatsApp invitation at any time, you can do that. It is a pretty cool app that I think you guys should also check out. The next app is called Twine and Twine is a great app that lets you browse your RSS feed quickly all in one location. Simply just add your RSS feed links in here and that is literally all you have to do each time. Any time of the day, if you want to get information and read them, they are right there in one convenient location. One thing that gets me every time is the design. A good design app on its own is a 10 over 10. What I like about Twine is that the theme changes depending on what is at the top of your feed. You can also filter it to always show you the unread posts so you have something to read every morning or afternoon or whenever you're free. It is honestly a great app to have and since I want to read more, this will definitely help. With the rise of AI, it gets easier and easier to automate anything in the world. And this is me introducing Video Summarizer. So if you're watching a long form video and you need to get the general gist of important information because time is money, first copy the link to that video of choice, tap this button right here and the app will automatically transcribe this video for you. Now, if you want more information, you can tap this button at the top and you can ask it anything concerning that video. I see this being used for educational purposes more than anything else. It is great for students and maybe the young and upcoming working professionals. Number five on this list is an app called Color Changing Camera. And I'm biased when I say this is one of the best apps on my phone because it's a ton of fun. As the name implies, you can literally change the color of any object of choice within the app. So say you want to buy new Nikes, but you don't really know how the new color will look. Simply just point and shoot at that object and it changes the color to anything you want within the color wheel. Now, if you want to repaint a wall or you want to get a dress in a different color, this app comes in handy. And if you're still watching, sub to the channel would be awesome.
If you have a lot of applications on your phone and you like to uninstall them, then AppDrop is the way to go. This app lets you uninstall a bulk number of applications easily. So if you're running out of space on your phone and you need to get rid of apps that you've not used in a couple of months, you can sort them out through this app. Because let's face it, we all have many apps on our phones that we haven't used and it's just picking up digital dust every now and then and need to be removed. However, if you do want to get it back, it has a backup feature just in case you need that app in the nearest future. All right, this next app is somewhat redundant, but fun at the same time. It is an app called Action Notch. Now, neither the Pixel 8 Pro or even the Galaxy S24 Ultra has a notch, but it still functions the same. This is a really powerful app though, giving you access to three different gestures for free and five different gestures if you get the Pro version. Now the single tap turns my phone into a flashlight at the back, the double tap that I chose takes a screenshot and long pressing the notch itself or the hole punch cutout opens the camera app. So you see things like long pressing to open the camera doesn't make any sense to me because you could easily just double tap the home button on any phone or any Android phone and it opens the camera. It does have its merits though and overall it is a fun app to have especially if you're just playing around. And finally we have a fantastic app for creating and managing different lists. It's called Superlists. It's, the name is very on the nose. Now first things first I primarily use this for grocery shopping as opposed to Google Docs which is very annoying to use. One of the biggest selling points for me is that the app is well designed. It also has four major sections, the inbox page, the task page, messages page and search. With this app you can really turn it into any kind of list you want. So books you want to read, grocery shopping you would like to do, maybe even games you would like to play within a month. It can literally go on and on. You could also turn it into a team building app or maybe sharing your list with another person if there is some sort of agreement between you or more than one person. It even goes as far as assigning different tasks or different lists to different people. Personally, I feel there are other better applications that already do this like Notion or any other CRM tool. But if you want to use this for just the simple things, then Superlist will be just fine. So those are some of my favorite apps on Android right now. What apps do you use to make your life a little bit better? Comment down below and let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, consider subscribing as it does help the channel go a long way. Thank you guys for watching. My name is KJ and I'll catch you guys in the next one.